I built my first gaming PC without any experience. The first thing I did was spend hours watching tutorials to try and learn the basics. Next, it was time to start building. Okay, so starting off with the motherboard, which basically connects everything in a PC, we have the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. Shout out to Asus for sending me all this stuff. This video would not be possible without them. So inside the box, we see the motherboard. This thing literally looks like a bunch of random program. I don't even know, man. So inside the box, we also have this random thing. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll figure it out. And some screws. Don't know what this thing is either. Uh, whatever this is. Okay, so next up, we have the CPU, which is an Intel i7. I know nothing about CPUs, but from what I heard on the internet, this thing is good. So I'll take their word for it. Okay, we got the manual right here. Inside should be the CPU and uh, cooler. I'm trying to be as careful as possible, man. All right, we got the cooling fan right here. It has thermal paste on it, so I gotta be very careful. Oh my God. Okay, the CPU is fine, hopefully, but here it is, the CPU. I gotta be very careful with this. And then inside, we also have the cooling fan. So the fan has thermal paste over there, so I just gotta make sure not to touch that. But over here, the main component, we have the CPU. Gotta be very careful not to touch any of the pins. So I'm holding it from the sides. So over there at the top left, there is like a little arrow looking thing. We're gonna be using that so we could put it on the motherboard. If you look closely on your Intel motherboard, you can see a small triangle cut out on the socket. Man, where the hell is the triangle? I think this is how you do it. No pressure. All right, all right, it's down, it's down. Okay, now we can pull down the lever, please. No, I'm scared. That thing has so much force. It's resisting. No, 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 no. Did I do something wrong? Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. The black thing gonna pop off or what? Yo, black thing, you gonna pop off? Oh, no, 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 did I do something? No, 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 no. I think I fucked up. Wait, 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 is that supposed to have it works? Please tell me that's it. Is it supposed to wobble this much? Okay, okay, I think I'm good from the bunch of videos I just watched. Um, I think it's just this black thing had to come off, so I think we're chilling. All right, so now we're gonna be installing the CPU fan. Basically, we're just gonna be installing in like these four hole things over here. I think I placed it, I think, so I'll make sure. All right, they're all in, so now you just have to press that thing. Okay, that's one, two. No, 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 why is this one not doing it? Oh, I got them all locked in. Let's go, bro. Oh my God, that one was, oh, that was so stressful. Okay, so next we need to connect this little guy. Okay, so it's at the top over there. So I just gotta plug it in onto this little thing. There we go, it's in. Now quickly before I continue, I wanna let you guys know that Asus is also having a major deal. You guys can get the PC parts that I'm also using in this video and so much more for amazing prices in the website. And Asus is also having a huge giveaway where you can win an RTX 4070 Ti and so much more. Everything will be linked in the description. Trust me, you don't wanna miss any of these. So next thing we have is the RAM. It's the Kingston Fury 32 gigabytes. I've installed RAM in the past, so I do know how to do this at least. Since we're only installing two sticks of RAM, we're gonna be putting the RAM on the gray spots over here so we can take advantage of dual channel. Now take one of your RAM over here. As you guys can see, there's like a little like that wedge looking thing. I'll line that up with like this little bar. Okay, there we go. Okay, so once you put it in place, you guys will see that this thing can just be snapped back into place, just like that. There we go. It is now set. And just like that, we installed the RAM. All right, so now we're gonna be connecting the motherboard to the case. This is the Asus Tough GT502 case. This thing is huge. That's why I put it on the floor. So first I'm gonna take off this glass cover over here. So since my case already has like these screw things installed, I don't need to manually put it in. So basically on your motherboard, you guys wanna connect this silver part over here with this empty spot over here on the case. And you guys will also need screws so you guys can screw it in. I have the motherboard right here. I'm gonna just like gently drop it down. 
Trying to make sure these holes over there are connected. So now you guys can see that the silver part is sticking out of that little hole. Now you want to make sure that these holes on the motherboard are aligned with the ones that are on the case. Next, you just take the screws that came with the case and just screw the motherboard in. And there we have it. We have the motherboard set up to the case. Like the motherboard wasn't adjusted correctly, so it was so hard for me to screw it in. But now it's all good. All right, so this is what the PC looks like now. Next, we're gonna be installing the power supply. Now, this is the power supply we're using. Asus sent me the Tough Gaming 850 watt power supply. From what I've seen on the internet, people said the power supply is like the hardest part to set up. But hopefully I don't struggle too much with that. Over here is the actual power supply. And then over here is just a bunch of mess. Like what the heck are these, bro? We also got the power adapter thingy. Okay, so taking out all these cables right now. So as you guys can see, some of these cables are labeled. So over here we have PSU, PCIe, and then the rest of these cables over here. Basically, I'm gonna take this motherboard cable right here, which is like the longest, fattest looking thing. And over here it says motherboard, so you guys can just plug that in. And then there's like a shorter side that's also on like the same cable thing. And then now on your PC, this top part over here on the right is basically where you plug in this fattest part of the wire and boom, it should fit right in. All right, since plugging in the cables to the motherboard is a long and confusing process, I'm gonna do this all off camera and show you guys the results after. All right, I finished setting up my motherboard. There are a few more cables I need to finish up once my graphics card is installed. So, so far I have the motherboard and the CPU one, but I watched a few videos and I realized that my CPU cooler isn't supposed to be over here. Since I have an AIO cooler, I'm gonna go set that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off right now. All right, so for the AIO, we have the ROG RYUO 3360ARGB CPU liquid cooler. I don't know why that name was so long, but let's open this up. A bunch of stuff, what the heck. We have over here, the AIO, as you guys can see, it has thermal paste in it. The fans, we have three of these, as you guys can see. And the AIO, which is huge. And that's about it for the box. Basically, what I'm gonna be doing is installing the fans into this AIO. All right, so I got the plastic out. I'm pretty sure you have to place these fans, three of them right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I just finished setting up my AIO. I'll deal with this little dangling wire thing later. But now that this is all set up, we're gonna finally set up the graphics card. Next, we have the graphics card, which is the RTX 4080. This thing is absolutely amazing. This is gonna get majority of my games above 200 FPS. Oh my God. This thing is so heavy as well, wow. Probably as big as like an Xbox, Inside, we also got some other stuff. I'm not sure what this is. All right, time to set up this graphics card into the PC, let's go. Okay, so first we need to take out these PCI brackets right here. Basically, depending on how thick your graphics card is, we're gonna need to take out these PCI brackets. So the thicker your graphics card is, the more brackets you need to take out. All right, the GPU is all set up. Now we just have to plug in the cables for the power supply. All right, so now I'm gonna be installing the SSD. I have two terabytes of SSD and one hard drive over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that right now. All right, so I finished setting up the SSD. It actually took me a pretty long time because this graphics card and the AIO cooler was blocking the way. So like my hand was like really, really hard trying to get this thing in. But the PC is almost complete. We just need to put the case fans and connect the rest of the wires of the power supply and we should be done. So the fans that I'm gonna be using is the Asus Tough Gaming TF120. Each of these has three fans in it. So we have six fans total. So it's pretty cool how each of these fans have their own packaging. And we also have this box. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so we have the controller thing more cables more screws and more cables so this is gonna be great man so let's go ahead and set up all these fans into the pc all right so it's about five days later 
and I finally finished this PC build. Since I had school, this build did take a little bit longer, but it is completely finished besides the two other case fans. I'm still waiting for the header splitter to come in so I could use all six fans. But for the moment of truth, we're gonna see if this PC turns on. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It works. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, that voice crack was horrible. Oh my God, I am so hyped. All right, so now I'm gonna be setting up the PC and I'll see you guys when it's all set up. All right, so I have the PC all set up. As you guys can see, I also added these two antennas over here. Since basically, if you don't have these antennas, the Wi-Fi connection on your PC is gonna be literally so bad. Some PCs come with the antennas, but for me, I had to buy them separately. But let's go ahead and test out some games on this new amazing PC. All right, so the moment we all have been waiting for, how much FPS can we get on Fortnite? So I'm running at 1440 resolution, performance mode, with everything on low, turn our FPS to unlimited, apply, oh my God, 1000 FPS. Oh my God, that is, that is crazy, bro. I know this is just creative, but like, oh my God, this feels amazing. Like the fans aren't even on like max speed or anything. So like you could play on a thousand FPS and like the fans are like still so quiet. We're getting around 46 degrees on our GPU. So that's actually not that bad. So in an arena game right now, I'm getting still around 600 FPS, bro. Oh my God, that is, that is crazy. We're not really getting any huge FPS stutters either. I am kind of lagging, but like that's besides the point. What the hell? Oh, this guy scared me. You're dead. Oh my God, this is so... I'm in disbelief. No way. Oh my God, there's so much people. No way I survive all that. No way that fight took way too long. No way, bro. I sold. All right, these are the Warzone 2 graphic settings right here. Kind of like high, medium, low, somewhat of a mix. And once again, we're playing in 1440. All right, Warzone, we're getting around 180 FPS. Not bad. Oh, crap, that's right here. Got you. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, man. This guy heard me from all the way there, bro. What headphones do you got? Is he above me? What the hell is going? What the? Am I lagging? What just happened? I saw you. Oh shit, oh shit. What the, I'm not even jumping on the thing. I'm horrible at this game, man. I am horrible. All right, so in Valorant, we're getting around 600 FPS. I haven't played this game in over two years. I'm so bad. Valorant is pretty easy to run, so you should be getting some pretty good FPS. Should I tap or hold? I don't even know. Like, look, I'm, ho I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm <laughs> holding. What the? Oh yeah, oh, tap, 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 this guy right here, I'm so bad. Yo, what's with these bullets, bro? There we go, there's some guy right over here. Let's go, anyone else, anyone else? 
Is that right? Oh crap, who's shooting? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. But yeah, our GPU temperature is pretty good. It's around 40, which is really, really good. Should I just ADS, honestly? Oh my god, that scared me. This guy right here. So overall, this PC build has been amazing. This PC is absolutely insane. It can run most games at at least 300 FPS. It took me over a week to build since it is my first build. But after building this PC, I'm confident in building more PCs. So let me know down in the comments if you want me to build more PCs. And once again, shout out Zen and Asus for sending me over this amazing PC to build. Make sure to show them some love in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.